Hey you guys, I am out grouse hunting solely on foot today and I thought I'd share with you what I bring when I'm out day hiking and grouse hunting. Let's get into it. First, let's talk about what I keep on my person. Now, I'm not going to get into clothing too much as that's completely dependent on weather and you guys can decide what to wear for the area and weather that you're hunting. Obviously, it's raining out today and one thing I do want to talk about is something that is non-negotiable and is always in my pack and that is a rain jacket. This rain jacket that I'm wearing right now is the First Light Vapor Stormlight rain jacket. It comes in at just 12 ounces. This is my second grouse season wearing it and it has been fantastic so far keeping the water off me and keeping me warm. Some people might scoff at this, but I'm almost always alone out in the woods and I'm hunting or fishing, so I smell like a dead animal or dead fish. So something that I almost always carry with me is self-protection. I am using a Smith & Wesson 40 with buffalo bore hard cast bear rounds. If I'm in an area where I think I might glass up some bear or deer, I'll probably chuck on my bino harness. For ear protection, I carry something that I consider an absolute must have for grouse hunting. When you're grouse hunting, you don't have time to stop, set up a shot, and put in ear plugs. It happens very suddenly, and shotguns are loud. So for ear protection, I carry the Walker's Razor Electronic Earmuffs. These let you hear all around you at all times, as well as providing ear protection. These things are fantastic, and like I said, a must have for grouse hunting. During modern firearm season here in Washington State, we are required to wear blaze orange. So during that season, I will wear this Game Hide blaze orange vest. It's got plenty of pockets and extra storage space for more shells, as well as a big dump pocket in the back where you can put birds. Something that I always have when I'm out in the woods, no matter what I'm doing, is a pocket knife and a lighter. The pocket knife will change just depending on which one I feel like carrying, but always some form of pocket knife and a lighter. Kind of like a grouse flushing in front of you. When nature calls, it can happen quite suddenly. So one of the things I always carry in my pants pocket is these Sea to Summit Wilderness Wipes. These things are fantastic, convenient and biodegradable go check them out and the last thing i want to talk about that i always carry on my person is this belt knife right here whilst i own some very expensive and very nice belt knives i almost always find myself pulling out this knife this is a bps knife that i found on amazon this is a full tang knife with a nice comfortable wooden handle it's got a sharp spine to strike a ferro rod it also comes with a nice leather sheath and weighs just 4.3 ounces. I think one of the reasons I constantly find myself reaching for this knife is its simplicity and effectiveness and coming in at just $20. If I were to lose this thing, I wouldn't feel too guilty about it. The pack that I'm using is an Osprey Stratos 36. So it is a 36 liter pack. It's fully functional and very comfortable for all day hikes. I'm generally not a fan of the super bright colored backpacking gear and being dark green, this pack meets my criteria in the color department. One thing to keep in mind while you're watching this is that while some of the things like the tarp in my pack are permanent, a lot of this will fluctuate. So obviously grouse hunting happens in the fall time. The weather could be 72 degrees and sunny or it could be like today where it's about 40 degrees and rainy. Just keep in mind that my kit will change depending on my needs and the weather. On the outside of my pack or on my bino harness, I will typically carry my Garmin InReach Mini. If you're not familiar with what this is, it's a satellite communication device. It allows me to hit an SOS button if I get in serious trouble, but mostly I just use it to communicate with family and just let them know I'm uh, not dead. As far as water goes, I am always using a cheap gas station water bottle and I pair that with a C-Knock bag that allows me to carry water and a Sawyer squeeze that allows me to filter water. 
For a cook system, I am using the Jet Boil at 11 ounces. This is heavier than some options, but it is extremely convenient, easy to use, and boils water very fast. The burner part of this stove also has a regulator, which allows me to regulate the heat, which is really convenient for me because I like to fry up grouse and fish and things in oil, and that's a must-have for me when cooking with hot oil. Speaking of cooking in hot oil, I use the MSR skillet. This is just six and a half ounces. It's non-stick and I've fried up a ton of fish and grouse with my jet boil and this skillet. To protect that non-stick coating in that pan, I use the GSI tongs. These weigh less than an ounce. And sometimes I will use the GSI spatula. This also weighs less than an ounce. I'm a big fan of coffee, so I always bring a coffee kit with me. This is the GSI Infinity Mug. It weighs just over three ounces and has a built-in koozie. Inside of there, I'll generally carry a coffee filter. And then this thing I really love, this is the GSI Java Drip. It weighs under an ounce. It sits right on top of your cup and acts as a pour over when you're making hot coffee. And of course, no cook system would be complete without a long-handled titanium spoon. So for food, in front of the pack here, I will generally keep just a random assortment of different types of bars. Something I can eat really quick and easy with lots of calories in them. Maybe some beef jerky. And then in my pack, I almost always have an extra mountain house type meal just in case I really get stuck out in the woods and I need some, some real food. As far as extra clothing goes, I always carry my old wool beanie. These things are super cheap and very effective. I love this beanie. It's been all over the place. And then I will also usually carry some type of gloves with me. Shoved down in the bottom of the pack, I will always carry an old puffy coat. Uh, this is just something I got off Amazon. It's lightweight and it's effective to keep me warm and I don't mind if it gets pretty beat up. Something that is always in my pack is an emergency shelter. This is the AquaQuest Ultra Light Tarp. It is 10 by 7 and only 14 ounces. Uh, if it's raining like it is today and I just want to set up a shelter to cook under, or if I get stuck out of the woods and actually need an emergency shelter, this 10 foot by 7 foot tarp is a fantastic option. Usually by this time of year we're allowed to have campfires because rain, so something I always carry is a Baco Laplander folding saw. This has a seven inch blade and comes in at just six and a half ounces. So if I wanna cut up some small branches or small logs to start a campfire, this thing is awesome for doing so and it's super easy to carry. Another item that I hopefully won't need, but if I do have to hike back to the car in the dark, I carry the Nightcore NU25 headlamp. This is inexpensive and comes in at under two ounces. It has multiple brightnesses as well as a red light feature. One thing I always carry with me, whether I'm hiking or backpacking, is this little pouch here. This is my ditty bag or possibles pouch. In here, I just have some fire starter, ibuprofen, repair kit, uh, stuff like that. If you guys are curious about any of the gear that I'm using in this video, I've put links down in the description box if you want to go check it out yourself. Now let's go get nerdy for a second. One of the things I love doing when I'm out grouse hunting and I find a spot like this is stopping to look for edible mushrooms and I carry several items to help me with that. Number one, I carry a mushroom knife. So this is the old bear mushroom knife. It's got a locking blade that is curved to help you pick those mushrooms as well as a brush on the end to clean your mushrooms off after you pick them. At just a few ounces, I really love carrying around this knife. I also carry around several items to help me identify edible mushrooms, edible plants, and animals. One is an edible mushrooms pamphlet, a wild edibles pamphlet, and a pamphlet of animals that gives things like a description and picture of their tracks and poop. All of these pamphlets are waterproof and fit in my pocket. I also always carry my favorite wild mushroom identification guide and that is all that the rain promises and more 
This book is absolutely fantastic. It's small, fits in your pocket or backpack, and is a great guide if you're out looking for edible or just wild mushrooms. Last but certainly not least, in fact, one of the most important things is what do I actually grouse hunt with? Now, I primarily use two things. The first, my favorite, is a 20 gauge shotgun. This right here is the CZ Upland Ultralight Over Under. This is an absolutely beautiful shotgun coming in at just five and a half pounds. It is a pleasure to carry all day and shoots fantastic. Because on my channel I hunt with a shotgun so often in these videos, I often get asked, can you hunt with a 22? Absolutely. And this is my other favorite rifle to use while grouse hunting. This is a 1022 breakdown by Ruger. Now I have changed the stock out, added some iron sights and a four power fixed scope, but a 22 is an excellent option for grouse hunting at just about five pounds. This one is also quite nice to carry all day. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope this information helps you decide what to bring when you're going out on your next day hike grouse hunt. I'm gonna keep on hunting and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.